What's going on ladies and gentlemen, Randy here with RTS Mobile bringing you a beautiful video today. We are playing Infinity Kingdom and I am giving you a preview uh, and calculation, uh, calculated analysis of Empress Wu who is a beautiful fire immortal again for Infinity Kingdom. Now let's get right into uh, the, dang it, the analysis. Here we go. She is fire. Fire counters wind. When uh, fire loses to water, fire loses to shadow. Okay, here we go. Into her attributes. Her energy regen is really the star here. I am previewing uh, an Empress Wu who's plus 17, level 38, with level 35 uh, average gear here. So we are looking at stats based on that. This is attainable by a low to medium level spender. Back onto her energy regen it is phenomenal the base energy regen she has is 100 here at plus 17 she's up at 105 and i believe she gets that five percent regen somewhere around plus 11 or plus 12 there is that plus 25 starting energy plus the five percent uh increased regen so in addition to having beautiful regen which means her skill rotation is under 10 seconds without cc and without other abilities uh, factored in, her intelligence level and her agility level are both quite high. Her intelligence level is phenomenal, which gives her fantastic magical attack, which is going to really help complement her massive nuke and any other skills you decide to equip on her. Her agility is above average. It is decent. She has decent crit here. She's not the highest crit. Uh, you know, immortal in the game, and she's not the lowest, she's a little bit above average, but she does uh, make use of good agility and intelligence here in her in her stats, okay? Now on to the nuke itself. Her energy skill is Imperial Fire. It can deal at level 7, 600% DPS to one target guaranteed, with an additional 60% chance to strike three additional times. Each time is its own role which means she could attack one time, she could attack three times, she could attack four times. If the RNG gods are in your favor on the day of your battle, you may find yourself doing a maximum DPS of 2,400%, which is phenomenal. To put that in perspective, um, Merlin's DPS is a guaranteed hit on, on four targets. If there are four targets on the field, and that means that he does a total of 2,080 DPS when there's four targets on the field. The thing about Merlin, compared to Empress Wu, is she could theoretically hit one target four times. So she has the same average DPS um, no matter how many targets are on the field. She could really just obliterate somebody into the ground with 2,400% DPS into their face. Or she could hit... You know, three different people once and only proc three times. So that is uh, the dice roll with Empress Wu. She has a potential to be the highest single target DPS dealer in the game. She also has a potential of being one of the highest AoE damage dealers in the game. It's really based on the RNG gods, okay? So um, in the beginning of a fight, maybe Merlin potentially will have higher DPS because he's guaranteed to hit all four targets. Later in the fight, maybe Empress Wu pulls ahead and uh, is able to nuke somebody into the ground and obliterate their face. Okay, on to the math, because that's why you tuned in this video today. Let's pull up the maths. Here it is. Boop! Did I? Oh, that's not it. Where is it? Sorry. Boop! There it is. There's the math. Okay. This is the build I would recommend running with Empress Wu. However, we can talk about uh, the Plan B build if you like. So this build uses Empress Wu, right? <clears throat> it uses Concentration, which gives her a 21% damage buff to magic damage. This is not additive. This is multiplicative. This is different from the, uh, you know, um, the other magic damage dealing ones. I can't remember the name right now, which is fantastic, uh, which just gives you bonus magic attack. That is not as effective for her as the magic damage from Concentration. Okay, the next two skills I would use are going to make good use of her magical attack and her agility. 
So she's going to be really abusing this high magical attack from her intelligence and her crit from her agility. And that will be the damage over time effects here uh, for Toxinova and Fire Nova. Now, some people may switch out Toxinova for Chase, which gives you a 30% chance on crit to deal AoE damage to everybody. <sighs> Too much RNG for me. She has high crit, but her initial you know, skill could only proc uh, four times compared to somebody who does, like, you know, hit three targets with a DOT effect. You could be looking at, um, like, 12 chances to proc Chase versus her, you know, one to four chances. So really, I think Chase is not as effective as using Fire Nova and Toxin Nova, but it's going to be, um, oops, put the Nox Nova in here. It's going to be really subjective. You're going to have to test it out and see how you like it. Chase could theoretically be even more DPS, but again, it's extremely RNG based. So, Empress Wu, my recommended build, Concentration, Toxinova, Fire Nova. The Toxinova and Fire Nova will help complement her AoE damage early in the game and make sure that she is able to compete with AoE nukes from Merlin uh, in the beginning while making sure that she, uh, Concentration, is going to help really accentuate her 2,400% uh, DPS nuke and zero somebody into the ground later in the fight. Okay? So, that's it. Thanks for watching. Love you guys long time. Give me the like and sub button and put some comments in the uh put some comments below for whichever immortal you want me to cover next and we will go from there. Thanks for watching. Randy out baby.